In this class, we are going to see how to convert a date time from one time zone to another time zone with the help of integration in Oracle Integration 3. I have created a basic integration just to demonstrate how we can transform a date or convert a date time from one time zone to another time zone with the help of mapper function. You can use similar XSLT functions within the assign action as well as in the data stitch as well, whatever I show in the mapper. So same functions are available in the assign action as well as in the data stitch. So in order to convert a time that is date time from one time zone to another time zone, we have to make use of few of the functions. Now let's see what are those functions. As we are making use of XSLT 2.0 version in Oracle Integration 3 at the time of recording this class, I am recording this class on 2nd of August 2023. So first of all, we need to make use of this adjust date time to time zone function. So syntax for this, it is having two arguments which we need to pass for this function. First is obviously the time, that is the date time, what we want to convert or present date time. Suppose I am recording this class from India, I will pass my country's time over here, that is date time and the time zone of the country to which we are trying to convert this date time to. Suppose we are trying to convert the time to New York time that is in America, we have to pass the time zone that is the difference over here. As I told, there are two arguments we need to pass to this function. First is the current date time of your country or the server where you are running your integration instance. Second is the time zone value. Now how we can generate this time zone value? This time zone value is of the type this data type that is date time duration. So within this function, we have to pass the argument something like this, like minus PT for the New York currently it is minus 4 hours and during the daylight saving time, it will be minus 5 hour. So accordingly, we have to generate, that is we have to typecast or convert the date or generate a argument of this type, that is date time duration. Within this, we have to pass this argument. I will show practically how it will look. So once we generate the value in this type, then we have to pass it over here. Couple of arguments we need to pass. One is the current date time, another is the time zone of the country to which we are trying to convert. So with the help of these two arguments, I just date time to time zone will generate a date time according to your required country's time to which you want to convert to. I will provide link for this documentation in the description. You can check out the link and go through this documentation. Now let's head over to the integration and see how to use this function in integration mapper. First of all, we need to click on this components tab and search for adjust and click on enter. Here you will see adjust date to time zone. You can just drag and drop it over here. I have already dropped over here. We are having couple of arguments which we need to pass. First is the current time. I am assuming I am getting this time from some database or some service that we can pass it over here or for the time being I will override this as well to the current time. Next is the argument. As I told, it should be of type date time duration as shown in this document that is we have to generate the second argument of type this date time duration for the demonstration purpose i am trying to convert the time to new york time that is in america which is currently minus 4 hours i have opened up this site which will tell what is the offset currently in the new york so i am recording this class on 2nd of august 2023 which is after 12 march and before 5th of november so now the time difference or the offset is minus 4 hours but after 5th of november it will change to minus 5 hours that is the dst will end now the dst has started that is the daylight saving time has started and it will end on 5th of november this will generate an offset that is this type date time duration which is required for this date time to time zone function now first argument over here is the input parameter I am assuming I am getting the value in my request. Now let's test this mapper. Let me generate some dummy value over here. Here in the input I will populate some date. I have populated the date that is 1st of August 2023. Now let me just click on test. Now it will generate a time in New York that is with minus 4 hour offset. Now with this example, you may not be able to correlate what is the current time. So in order to help you with correlation, what I will do is I will populate over here the current time so that I can show you with the help of Google what is the current time in New York. So instead of populating the value from the request, what I will do is I will drag today's time over here that is with the help of current date time function. Just validate, validate the mapper. Go over to this test and click on run. Now irrespective of the time whatever we provide, we are making use of current date time in order to know what is the time in New York. So currently it is saying 22.52. Let's see what is the time in New York. I will refresh this again. It's 10.52 PM. PM means 10 means 22.52. 
So it is same what it is showing over here 2252 that is 1052 pm in New York. So like this we can convert the date time from one time zone to another time zone with the help of XSLT 2.0. So now there is a drawback with this approach. Suppose there is a daylight saving ends for New York for a few of the countries there will be a daylight saving. If it ends then again you have to manually come over to this mapper and change the things. So instead of this there is a solution how we can overcome this problem. So that we will discuss in our next class.